welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that you don't need to fit into a certain mold to be successful. One of the things that I learned early in my career was that trying to be something you are not results in unfulfillment and unnecessary pressure to conform to what the world thinks you should be, not what feels organic for you. When we are ourselves and let our natural talent shine without limitations or trying to fit the conventional mold, we bring something unique to the world by our authenticity and originality. If you look at any of the most well-known or notable people in the world, whether it was Albert Einstein or Michael Jackson, they didn't try to be like everyone else. They followed their own path and blazed a trail that was never done before. The truth is, the more we break the mold and follow our own unique path, the more we align to the person we are meant to be. After all, you weren't put on this earth to be like everyone else. You were born to stand out. As Austin Curlow quotes, your uniqueness is your strength. Remember that. Don't mold yourself to others or to what others think. You're an individual, you're special. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, let's talk about holiday gift ideas. Um, from big ideas to small ideas, you know, let's talk about what you have to recommend. So I always say no matter how big or how small you go, you never know exactly, especially if you don't know the person you're going to give to. Um, I love to stick to neutral colors. Um, so for example, um, if you want to give somebody a throw or a candle, um, make sure that you stick to neut neutral earthy colors and the scent of a candles, let it be like a woody, earthy, soft tone color um, scents versus something very strong and fruity or very florally that um, something that could be appeasing to the eye and to your sense. So I tell people, you know, stick to, stick to, um, earthy tones, because maybe for you, a bright blue object would look great in your house, but maybe in somebody's house, they have different, uh, color tones and it really won't, doesn't go well, or just visually that person doesn't like it. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next on the show, we discuss holiday gift ideas with Sheila Gompers, owner of luxury retailer Hudson & York. Sheila, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I am doing so wonderful. Thank you so much for hosting me. This is going to be so fun and I'm so excited to be here. So thank you for hosting. We're very excited to have you and talk about holiday gift ideas. I mean, the holidays are just around the corner, so it's a very exciting time. <laughs> yes, it is. And thank God for the holidays because it's been such a crazy time with the pandemic. And I think that the holidays is just such a nice time, no matter what's going on, you're going to be with family and loved ones and partying. And I think that's going to be so nice. Thank God that the holidays are here. <laughs> Um, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it a lot. <laughs> yes. And, and I want to talk about your company mandate. It kind of fits with the holiday, you know, tis the season of giving. So your company mandate or, or what you believe is that giving isn't just about showing gratitude, but to nurture and transform oneself. So tell us a little bit about this philosophy. So when um, the store came to mind, this was way before COVID and um, I thought I always, I always dreamed of having like a little shop, a little gift shop where people could find little intricacies and little things that you really can't find in other stores. And usually these gifting short stop stores are to gift someone. And I'm like, you know what? We're always gifting people and as we should, right? We're, we should be so grateful for things that people do, but we should also gift ourselves and um, and I'm not saying materialistic, but in our sense for Hudson and York is yes, like treat yourself, um, be good to yourself and go buy yourself a nice tray or a pretty candle that you can meditate to or some incense and just take care of yourself, your inner core, um, take a break. Um, just you, we're so busy and life is so crazy nowadays that it's so, it's so good to take care of yourself. And that's what we mean by um, you know, get, do something for you so you can nurture yourself and transform your inner self and your core. 
absolutely you know self-love is so important yes. I, I love all the products you have especially your wellness products and also I, I love that concept because I'm one of those people I love to give gifts I, I, I get excited about it when I give someone a gift because it's really about showing gratitude it's not about the gift yes. itself it's really about showing gratitude and saying hey I appreciate you you know, here's a little right. token of that. So I, I love that philosophy. When did you first launch Hudson in York and why did you want to bring this to the public? So funny enough, um, and by the way, I love to do that too. And that's how the whole process started yeah. is I love to just give to people and, and, and little things. It doesn't always have to be big gifts. Yeah. Um, we started, we just launched our website in August of this year. So we're still a new store. We're still um, putting in new products and trying in new products. And the reason of the why we're doing what we're doing and I'm doing what I'm doing is because um, I wanted to get um, have a place um, and here it has to be online, but a place where people are welcome. It doesn't matter like the color of your skin, your religion, your creed, your culture, your background. Um, I just wanted a place where people are welcome. There's variety for different people. Um, and just having that sense of community. Um, it, I think now with everything um, going on in the world with COVID and everything, um, I wanted people to be like, okay, I come here to the shop and it's not just your your big retailer, it's, it's going to a place that's a, it's, it's, it's a small business. It's made by Hudson and York who are the the loves of my life who are my son's uh, middle names they're hudson oh, and york very nice. yes and and that's how it all started it started with love and we just want to spread the love and just welcome people to our shop where you're just not shopping for a candle and you never see us again no we want you to be part of the people's journal which is our blog and ask us questions send us um, you know, a picture, send us your favorite poem or yours or a favorite song of yours and we'll post it or we'll read it. I mean, it's just, it's more, it's a lot about community and um, more than just coming to shop once or twice. Um, we really hope that we, we, we start this sense of community within Hudson, New York. Absolutely. And let's talk about the different products that you guys offer. You, uh, you offer contemporary, modern products. So walk us through the variety of products that you guys have. And by the way, I love your products. I just moved into a new home or I just purchased a new home. And um, I'm really excited for that glass tray. It's so beautiful. Everything is very modern and contemporary, which I love. So yeah. <laughs> so, um, and you will get it. It's, it's on its way. Um, and congratulations on your new home. How exciting is that? Um, well, I think um, those genres of having artisanal goods and modern and um, and some industrial stuff, we definitely have those pieces in. Like for example, in our home decor, you will find our, our mirrors that are painted in gold leaf and and gold leaf sounds old but really depends on your space and and you could make it into a modern modern um space whether it's your your living room or your office there's so many people working from home so we have some very fun mirrors that could be very modern but it depending on how you dress your your space um um in our home decor um which really it's is is such a good selection that we have just on that space on that category we also have um, beautiful pillows and throws that are made by these artisans in india and nepal and ethiopia that use really high-end silk and linens and cottons um, um, and as well as our furniture um, you mentioned your home and your space and you like your modern and there we also have some modern pieces um, and our lighting as well. We have some really nice lighting. Um, you could you could get like some really pretty. We have we carry like beautiful hand cut glass, um, marble to wood uh, lamps. We have a little bit of everything, and it's something that I encourage people to go on our website, and you'll see how we try to have a selection to appease the eye of everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And you talked about artisans and that you work with. And I did receive the two uh, salad spoons that was made by an artisan and it came with a little message, so which nice. I really liked and very personalized. So talk to us about some of the artisans that you do work with. So, so 
I don't specifically work directly with artisans, but the vendors that I partner with, they all they do is is um, work within these communities. And it's so important um, so that these communities are not lost and their craftsmanship is not lost, that some of them do create these um, um, like letters about themselves, about the area, about their these women's co-ops that are that are in these countries, um, so that people it's not just like um, you're just not purchasing, for example, those salad um, spoons, those olive spoons, but it, there's a story behind it. You bought it from an artisan in. Um, Kenya and there's a story behind them and the fact that they want to share it with you is so important especially in today so that we never lose touch of what's going on globally and how we could contribute to them. Yeah, I think that's really important. I love when companies work with artisans and yeah. give them a chance. You know, people from yeah. India, from all over the world, yes. they have so much talent. And I, I have a mask actually uh, that I wear and it was actually um, sewed by an artisan in India. And uh, um, wherever I go, people ask me, they're like, wow, I get stopped all the time. People are like, wow, your mask is so nice. And it's because, you know, you can see the handcrafted work. So I, I really yes. love that and that you're giving these people an opportunity, which is so important. Yes. Let's talk about holiday gift ideas um, from big ideas to small ideas. You know, let's talk about what you have to recommend. So I always say no matter how big or how small you go, you never know exactly, especially if you don't know the person you're going to give to. Um, I love to stick to neutral colors. Um, so, for example, um, if you want to give somebody a throw or a candle, um, make sure that you stick to neut neutral earthy colors and the scent of a candles, let it be like a woody, earthy, soft tone color um, scents versus something very strong and fruity or very florally that um, something that could be appeasing to the eye and to your scent. So I tell people, you know, stick to stick to um, earthy tones because maybe for you a bright blue object would look great in your house but maybe in somebody's house they have different uh color tones and it really won't doesn't go well or just visually that person doesn't like it so stick to your neutrals um so small again you could do candles you could do incense um you could do a beautiful tray um so many people working from home now that you could um you know, buy them a tray, a beautiful faux plant that you could put and they could think of you every time that they have their plant right next to you or or a lamp or even a mirror for, for bigger, larger objects. And again, sticking to neutral, timeless pieces, pieces that will never go out of style. So that's also very important is to um, you're not shopping for yourself, so when when you shop for others, especially if you don't know exactly their taste, to stick to those neutrals and those earthy tones, especially those timeless pieces. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I like that you said that because, for example, I ordered the mango scene uh, can yes. from your website, but at the same time, that's a pretty like powerful scent and not everyone probably would like that scent. So I like that you said stick to more neutral woody uh, scents because you know not everyone has the same taste you have right let's talk about corporate gifts you know a lot of people are looking to give gifts to their colleagues their boss but what are some ideas that you would recommend well i think as as a corporate gift i think it's so important to brand yourself and i am such a big fan of personalizing your item versus because this is not like a like a mom or a friend um, gifting a friend. This is now a corporate level. So I think it's so nice for you to have um, your name on it, whether it's a water bottle, a very nice Yeti, for example, and you put your brand on it. Um, calendars, glasses. Um, now people are so, well, it's been for a while, but, but um, in Denver where I lived, craft beers, everything. So um, even give someone a selection of craft beers and put your name on it. Put your name on the stickers, um, sweaters, coats, 
pencils, um, stationary objects, but with your name on it. So I always encourage corporates to, um, because you want to expand on your brand and you want your brand to be visible. So what you want is anything that you give that you put your name on it and make it personable for people so that if I have that really cool water bottle, then people come in and be like, oh, where did you get that water bottle? Oh, well, so and so, and there's that brand. So it's just a lot of brand recognition when it comes to corporate and making it personal with your name on it. Absolutely. It's funny that you said that because I remember I worked with a company that gave me uh, holiday cards and it had my picture on it. And first I was like, no, I don't want to put my picture on it. But they're like, no, no, do it. And I gave it to a lot of my clients um, and some of the celebrity guests that I had on my show. And they all remembered it and kept it because it wasn't just a standard right. uh, Christmas card. It had my picture on it and, you know, it was personalized. So I, I think that's a really great idea, you know, I, to personalize. I, uh a hundred percent and you see and they kept it because yeah. it was personalized and people tend to um gravitate towards that versus if they were just to get like a plain old uh christmas card that are very pretty but it wasn't personalized and the fact that they personalized it with your with your picture on it they're keeping it as a memorabilia so there you go yes. like it's so it. nice to personalize especially on a corporate level because it also gives memories and brand recognition so it's really really nice yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about the kiddos. We can't forget about them. What are some gift ideas that you have for kids? And what I know you offer as well uh, products for kids on your website. I have a niece and nephew, and I'm always thinking about ideas for them. I go on Amazon looking. So yeah, <laughs> give, us, give us some ideas that you have. So you could go crazy with the kids. Um, so obviously Hudson and York, they're my, they're my boys, um, Seth Hudson and Asher York. And I thought I have to represent them in Hudson and York because they're their inspiration behind the store. And one thing that, uh, you know, people for the holidays, they love to gift children toys and there's, and it's nice, but I think giving them something with a little bit more meaning and more value, it's so nice. So what I did, I actually have a selection of like pouches and, um, and, and coin purses for that were made like, um, with this beautiful craftsmanship from, um, artisans in Nepal and Thailand that make these beautiful stories so that when the kids receive it and they get the pouch or or some hand uh, soap home decor objects that we have as well, um, there's a story behind it. So you could tell your child like, oh my God, an artisan in Nepal made this for you. And you could talk about not just how fun it is and the beautiful colors and the craftsmanship, but now you're also integrating Nepal. Wow, like a country, what? Like there's, there's another country and let's talk about the artisans. And they're actually more interested than in, in learning about other countries more than people who could actually um, could think that they wouldn't. They're actually interested in, oh, wow, where is Nepal? Where is um, these countries that, you know, we don't hear of every single day? And that I got a toy, this beautiful crafted toy from an artisan. It's it's so important. And, and we hope to actually expand our Kids Corner um, category um, in, in 2022. And speaking of cultures, I know you're of Cuban descent. So how do you think your heritage has kind of played a part or influenced the beautiful work you have at Hudson and York? You know, I think that being born in a different country and I came in second grade. So having to just adjust and adapt to a brand new culture, a brand new language, um, that gives you um, so much insight of where you come from. Um, so um it's it's shaped me into who i am because um you know the colors that we use in my country and the colors that we use you know in the united states are a little different maybe cuban countries could be a lot very bright and our food is very um you know uh different different cuisines and our music it's a little bit more moving when you listen to salsa so you know all of that has kind of shaped me into who I am today and I get to appreciate my ethnicity, my background, and also love the country that I am and the country that I have been raised, which is here in the United States. And I think that plays such a big part into Hudson and York and that 
um, it feeds into that narrative of everyone is welcome. It doesn't matter. Let's have that sense of community because it doesn't matter where you come from, right? Like let's, let's all stick together and support each other and, and spread that love that way. Yeah, absolutely. And gratitude and giving is yes. universal, right? It's something that yes, we all, it's all love to receive, you know, it doesn't matter yeah. your culture. So I, I, I love that. And I love that you're representing that. I also yep. want to talk about wellness products. I'm a big fan of meditation, wellness, all of that, uh, personal development. So let's talk about some of the wellness products that you can yes. give to someone else or you can gift yourself as well. I know you have exactly a... <laughs> it, goes, it goes back into the narrative yes. And, yes. and it's right. And, and it's also one of my favorite. I think that when I was curating um, products for Hudson and York, I was like, we have to do wellness because how big today is taking care of yourself, that mental um, 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 strength, right? That we have to feed to each other every day and, and sometimes just creating that space for you. So we have created a, a space that we have these beautiful candles and our incense that is hand whirled by hand whirled by um, artisans in India and Palo Santo that comes from Ecuador to really clean out your space and your energy. And there's so many different um, scents that give different feeling and different moods. So we definitely have created some scents that have, are for passion and love and relaxation and enlightenment and focus. So really whatever you are needing for that moment, um, we try to um, to have cert these certain products available for for our customers, where where um, maybe you know you need some enlightenment and you find an enlightenment incense, and 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 it's nice to you know to have these type of options um, for people. Um, and again, just cleaning out your space. We have the holy stick of Palo Santo, which is so traditional in Peru and Ecuador. And, and um, actually a little story on, because people love Palo Santo, but what I tell people that back in the day, like the shamans and that lived in these indigenous countries, when people would have like problems, they would go to them and they would just clean their, their aura and their homes with these holy sticks and, and they were able to breathe again and positivity came into their lives because you're kind of just fleshing out the negative and in comes the positivity of just being just being feeling at peace so it's really really nice oh very nice especially with the new year coming just around the corner i think that's something great you know get rid of yeah. old energy and in with the new positive you know, in light out with the old, in with the new. Exactly, <laughs> I like that. I think I'm going to be purchasing those as well. And you know, what about some gift ideas for some of the more picky people we have in our lives? You know, there are some people that, you know, they like any gift, and there's some people that are so picky. Uh, what are some general ideas that you can give for gift ideas for just those really picky people we have in our lives? <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's hard to give uh, uh, picky people, you know, yeah. and 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 it's all you know you're going for a guess, and again it goes back to just sticking to as neutral as clean as humanly possible. Whether it's let's say um, the, a candle, and we have one of our candles, for example that um, most people love pottery and one of our candles that their vessels are made with concrete and they dip it in different colors um you could buy them like a nice centralized scent and then they could reuse it for a pottery and a planter that they could put on their on their desk or in their home um it is very hard to to shop for pick for picky people um, and again, um, like if you want to buy somebody a scarf, make sure you stick to, um, like a neutral color, um, um, textures that are not so strong, that are subtle. So, um, I think that's so, so important because, um, no matter what, what the item is, whether it's candles or incense to pillows to throws, to even like a mirror or a lamp, just sticking to neutral colors that um, that they could they could appreciate. But it's 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 a guess, it's a gamble, right? Because picky people are gonna be picky, and, and you hope that the product that you selected for them, um, they're they're gonna be happy. But it, it's tough shopping for for picky people. It's tough because they could find 
just some crack in there just to be like, yeah, oh, I don't like it. It's too yeah. much for me. So again, sticking to those neutral earthy colors that are subtle on the eyes, subtle um, at the touch, um, an object that you're putting at home or in your space. It's so important to, to keep it very neutral. Absolutely. You don't want to get them a highly patterned scarf or something no. like that. That would be a major no-no, no, right? So no, I like just that. solid, just like solid, like a, I would just do like a solid um, off-white or solid, just solid colors. Um, because when you're picky, um, something like that, that's too busy, that could really turn them off. Absolutely. I think that's great advice. And for our viewers that would like to purchase Hudson and York products, where can they find out more information and purchase them? Um, you could you could find us at HudsonandYork.co and um, also on social media on Hudson and York Co. And um, please come ask us questions. Uh, we welcome everyone, like we said. And um, come ask us if it's a space for you, a space for mom, a space for your brother, your sister, uh, for a coworker. Um, come and ask us questions about what you have. And another thing that um, we would love to hear if we don't carry a product and you want to see it, let us know. Hey, Sheila, I don't see, you know, um, any, um, uh, any certain bath soaps or any certain scent as an example, come and tell us, Hey, can you look for this certain product? And we will. Um, so I recommend everybody to come ask us questions, feel welcome and, and come and enjoy the website. It's, it's fun to navigate through and, and there'll be new products coming in this year. And we're very, very excited about 2022. Absolutely. And you know what? I always like to end off the show on a positive note. And I want to talk about some inspiration. You know, you're an inspiration. Um, you know, you're a successful woman. So let's talk about, you know, what advice do you have on some of our viewers that want to build a brand? Because I mean, your website and your products are very curated and very luxurious. Everything is branded so nicely. So let's talk about some advice that you would share with some of our viewers in creating a successful brand. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Daryl. That means a lot to me because this is like my baby. So um, I really appreciate that positive feedback. Um, it doesn't go lightly. And I think that one of the most important things is surrounding yourself by by people that, that want to push you, that see you in a positive light. And I think as a business owner and on anything that you do, that you have to surround yourself with people that, that work for you or work with you, that you guys jive and there's a nice bond and that um, they, they push you to be better and that there's um, just just like a sense of, of positivity that, that things are gonna be good when they're great, but even when things are not great, you know that these people are gonna have your back and you're gonna have their back. And I think it's so important to surround yourself by by family, friends, loved ones, coworkers that really make you feel that you're supported and you're supporting them. And there's that respect between each other and that communication. So I think that's so important as a business owner that if you guys don't jive, maybe that person jives better with somebody else, but it's so important as a business owner to have um, find those really good people that that will work for you and see your vision and stick to your brand and 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 have those really positive nurturing relationships i think that's great advice I, that's actually one of my favorite um lines is that teamwork makes the dream work right yes, when you have yes. a great synergistic team that aligns with yeah. what you want to do it makes it that much easier and that's yeah. why i always tell all my colleagues at tag tv that because i think that that's a big part of success is having Absolutely. great people around you so i yeah, love that yeah because imagine like you're not like you're doing something that you love but the people around you don't let you enjoy that space so but when you're around that when you're doing something that you love and the people around you get you and you get them it just makes everything so smooth on bad times and good times on either one Absolutely. you guys are just going to figure it out together and just building that that good team around you is so important Absolutely. Well, Sheila, thank you so much for being on the show today. Congratulations on all your success. We look forward to seeing even more products on your website. And, you know, I'm sure a viewer is going to head to your website to get some gift ideas. So thank you and uh, happy holidays. 
Oh my God, happy, happy, happy holidays to you. This was so much fun. Um, this was really, really nice. Thank you so much for having me and for hosting me and, and you guys getting to know a little bit about Hudson and York. This means a lot to me. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And we will talk soon. <laughs> Pack TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.